can't go back now. Nope. The die is cast. Alita, I act a F4. I you need, no. That you was... need to start with that last. That that was that was a good place to start. You need to start with that and cut this out. Nope. So it sounds like it, it, it's already been done. That's that was the beginning. Welcome to episode twenty five. Four. Twenty four. Twenty four. Yeah, I activated twenty three today. Okay. Okay. Twenty four, guys. Yes. Uh, oh, it's, it's good that we're in the four. desert, because this is where, actually where I want to be. Yeah. Twelve and two. Running, punk. So I want, I want to go find that sage in the hole that we saw earlier. Right. Yeah, right here. We need to start getting in these holes. All up in these holes. If, if I'm going to be going into a hole, I'm, I'm going to need to get my magic wand, and I need it to make my monster grow. Yep. <laughs> that that guy was in four different iterations <laughs> of that show. Five. Which he guy in which show? Tell the people what they want to know. So right right that before rhymed. this episode, we are uh, we went deep down a dark and and terrifying hole of reading the Power Rangers wiki, <laughs> and to our utter. Uh, you know, dismay. The we found out that the dude who plays the Green Power Ranger has a multi-season arc. <laughs> he in his in his uh, tenure on this show, he maintained the position of five distinct Power Rangers. One of them green, one of them white, two of them red, and another <laughs> black one. He donned in his uh, stint five separate costumes. Or rather, he donned no costumes and some Japanese guy put on five costumes. Possibly Filipino. Possibly. Not sure how that works. Possibly K Korean, Chinese, you know, Thai, Cambodian, Laotian. Possibly uh, a white dude living in Japan is, and working as a in, stuntman. In, in Indonesian. Identity uh, entirely unclear due to the face concealing nature of Power Rangers mask. Oh! This raptor is endeavoring to front upon me. This will not stand. It looks like a radish. <laughs> It's also got a mohawk, and it appears to be wearing makeup. Its body is the bulb, and its tail is the, you know, like, the tip of the radish, and yeah. then its neck is the leaves. And then it, on the top of it, it has that little tuft of hair that's like the... I don't know. The, yeah, more of that's more like the leaves. And, or Whoa. Whatever. Oh, God. It's a smiling sphere. They're, uh... They're getting real creative with the <laughs> enemy designs now. Too creative. They're going all... They had... Creepy. Oh! Jesus. They had all their good ideas in the latter half of the... of the game. Shit, 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 side. Uh, 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 uh. Life up! Bravo! On yourself! Go! Go! Yes! I rule at this game. You should rule. I mean, you've been playing it for what? About, let's just say an hour per ep. Well, let's say 45 minutes per episode. For 23 episodes. Would be. The hour, hour and a half times. times so. Well over 10 out. Well over. Probably about 15 hours. Yeah. It is, however, the first time I've ever been able to save a character from mortal damage. Uh, before they died. Which is pretty. Makes me feel like a, a real badass. Oh you god. Hit, uh, yeah, like, like, that's a pretty cool feature in this game, that the life bar can be ticking down, and if you're just fast enough, yeah. you can, 
You can get it. Way to go! Also, the, uh... Their, their creativity is truly unbounded, as evidenced by the bow that they've so tactfully applied to that UFO model. They, that's Creating... actually a male UFO. They're just breaking down gender barriers with that unspeakable noise directly in their uh, ears. Little known fact, this game actually started as a sequel to Mrs. Pac-Man. And the only remnant of that iteration is the bowed UFO. Yes. Ms. Pac-Man, Pac -Man. best known for being dealt as a bootleg rip-off Pac-Man machine. Which is actually true. Which, which was itself a uh, sh offshoot of Mother 1. Yes. I th think that we're liars now. Oh, baby. Uh, how dare you? I take offense to that. You... 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 Had... <laughs> I... I challenge you to... Uh, defend yourself. Defend your honor. Come at me, bro. Oh, shit. I don't want to engage the Skelpion. That seems like a bad idea. Get it! All oh, right, in the Skelpion. Ah. Get him! Useless. Boom! <laughs> right in the bread shot. So I went to a baby shower today. How'd that go? And it and it, it it was great. You know, I don't think uh uh you know people our age should be having children necessarily. But <laughs> what are you gonna do? You know. Who, who's ready? Who's ever ready? It's like, you just gotta jump in, jump into this sort of thing, and... The, the, the robustness of the human mind will make up for the defects in early childhood rearing. Anyway! So, it was good. I got them a diaper caddy. Uh... What is a diaper caddy? What it's, is it? it's a box. It's a fancy name for box. Oh. It has compartments in it, and you, I, I don't know, you, you put... Are they, do, are they like hermetically it, sealed, so if you put a poop diaper in there, it's... you protected? I bought the thing on the registry, man, don't grill me about this. <laughs> I, I went, I went to Target, I printed off a, the gift registry on like, three sheets of purple paper, I picked one that had not been bought, and, and took it, and that I, I also bought- Dude, I've got to tell you, Lime Green is going to be the bane of this child's generation. Well, hold it. What the hell is that? A sign? <laughs> no, oh. we've- Uh, what the hell is that? Oh, good, you can take off those glasses, Rob. Stop looking like a total dipshit. It must belong to someone. <laughs> I should just throw that's, them away right now and walk away. That's, that's some pretty big assumptions, you know. <laughs> I found this thing in the middle of the desert. It must belong to someone. <laughs> Everything belongs to someone. You can't own anything, man. Answer? So yes, I can. I, I, was at Target and I bought this diaper caddy and uh, I bought a lime green uh, gift bag because that's what was right there. Yeah. You know. It's like, okay, so here's. I got there. Ev oh, and it also kind of matched the diaper caddy, which had lime green uh, lines in it. Yeah. So it's like okay, throw throw this together and it it's got that theme going. Got there every single. Gift, without exception. <laughs> Same lime, lime green, green gift bag. That's awesome. So it's like obviously it's a it's a it's in fashion right now. It's you know it's like ne next year it's not gonna be like that anymore. Wait. But th this kid and all his friends in school 
and they were they're going to grow up. Their early childhood is going to be colored lime green. What is that gonna do to this generation of children? I don't know, but remember Under that chaos. name and that location that's on the screen right now. Pintella Giovanni? Yep. Four side bakery, second floor. Got it. I oh. like how she just wrote, wrote that on that sign and stuck it out in the middle of a desert. Well, she lost her <laughs> contact lenses in the middle of the desert. So... How did she write... How did she see well enough to write the sign? Look, man, I'm just walking around in the hell desert. Don't ask me questions. I mean, that, maybe it's... Maybe it's a, a crumbled monument. Maybe it's like a real I am <laughs> Ozymandias kind of thing. And Look upon my really, contact lenses, ye mighty, and despair. And if you find them, please lenses, bring sir. them to me. <laughs> no lens there beside remains. Round anyway, that had a blurry point. wreck. Sorry. I got off on lime green because I I was blown away when every single gift was <laughs> was lime green. But um, I was gonna talk about. I went to a vape. Oh well, whatever. I can't remember what I'm going if you remember where I was going, tell me. But children's lives destroyed by lime green. Yeah, it's it's a real shame. Lime green. What what are the, the generation after them? The you know the kids who are gonna be in kindergarten when they're in first grade yeah. are gonna be like, what what are our what are our seniors? What are they thinking? Chaos. Utter unmitigated chaos. You're a real downer tonight. You're gonna be harsh on everybody's buzz all the time. Uh, I, I'm like Prophet. I'm like Zoroaster. Comes down from the mountain and is like, Look, you morons. <laughs> You're doing it wrong. Gotta have an eternal flame. Burn it. Burn it all. Also, Naomi died. So... Well, there's nothing new. I think we found all we're gonna find in this stupid desert. Yep. There's I'm, the I'm, water. I'm, I'm ready to... I'm ready to give that lady her contact lenses back. That's right. It's my ounce. Make way. Get thee behind me, Dusty Dunes Desert. Also, get thee behind me, Small Tunnel. Well, here we are on this bridge. Again. Do, do cars ever use this bridge? I'm not willing to hang out and find out. Looking like no. Like, like a lot of bridge for... It's not like walking around like an asshole for a video game. Yeah. It's like it was made for this. <laughs> this game was uh, originally slated to be called... What the... Hell is that? Oh! Uh, it's one of those. It's one of the blue folk from Happy the Happy Happy Village that just she didn't realize that we we fixed everything. She sort of wandered over in the foreside and she didn't get the memo. Has been marauding ever since. I shot her with a laser gun and she oh. Well, that was horrifying. Oh. I remember what I, where I was going with that story. I, I uh, uh, went to this ba baby shower, and while I was there, I, uh, had, uh, conversations with some of my, you know, old high school friends, childhood friends, yeah. about, about video games, and I, uh, mentioned that we made this show. And we were brutally criticized on grounds that there are hundreds of shows, shows that do this this very thing. And it really got me thinking. What do we have to offer the YouTube video game uh, the com what do we have to offer the community who enjoys watching other people play video games? 
and I've come to the conclusion that we have nothing to offer. We have my magnificent physique and frankly unreasonably large genitalia. Exactly. But that doesn't have anything to do with video games. True. So, to whomever's listening out there, I propose the following. For our next iteration of this show, I'm thinking we're going to expand the format somewhat to include things other than video games. Mm. This is a work in progress. We're we still need to, you know, ponder out the specifics a little, but I'm thinking this needs more than it has to be to be a viable entertainment product. The only thing I need is $8,720 in the bank and a fistful of baseball bats. How much do you have in the bank right now? Uh, me personally? Yes. Uh, like... You, Baxter Rollins. Also, give me your bank account number and your uh, PIN number. Uh, let me get my checkbook. Just hang on a minute. What? Did our mom just blow us off? <laughs> Whatever, Lars. So, peace. I have important hors d'oeuvres to snack on. She's watching all these steamy soap operas and hanging out with her mister all day. That's, that's what it's called when a lady has a an, a, a, an affair man, right? Her bow. You okay? Stupid hat. I've also been watching the anime show Oran uh, High School Host Club, which is literally about a, a group of high schoolers who open a like a, a, a prostitute club where they prostitute themselves out to girls in that school. Sounds good. Not, I mean, they they don't. They don't go around having sex with them because it's a show for children for crying out, crying out loud, but um, they like they're like escorts, you know? Yeah. Like, if, if the, gir the girl has to show up at a fancy party or something, so they they like rent out one of their and they're all very good looking and, uh, you know, that that sort of thing. Yeah. And they're all very romantic and they're real, real uh, uh, what's the word? Like, uh... Flirtatious? Yeah, they're, they're, they like, uh... They're very truckling. Ooh, look at that. There's another, uh... Uh... Significant item. Yes. I don't know what you I'm confused, though. The, the guy told us to... So, something's... It's not right here. Hmm. We're supposed to go in the department store, but we still can't go in. Obsequious? Is that the word I'm looking for? Deferential, Were maybe? They... Well, not, not, not in that... It doesn't have the right connotation. I'm, I'm, I mean, they're... They just act like they're deeply in love with these girls, and, and play into their, their, like, whims and things like that. You know, like a... Like an escort might do. Someone who's paid to be a... To have fun with you. Yeah. Except I, I, they don't. They also don't get paid. Except in, like... Uh, they like sell... They'll like sell... Uh, uh, saucy calendars of themselves and stuff like that. That's like... That's like their club activities. As they produce things like that. I don't know. It's kind of a funny show. I like it. And the, 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 uh, wrinkle in, in this whole story is that they accidentally induct a girl into their club. No! Oh, wait, that makes the ratio better. Well, because she's a, uh, she's a cross-dresser, and, uh, she, she, like, they, they induct her into the club, and then they find out she's a girl, but she's already has, like, clients. And they can't just get rid of her. Yeah. And 
It's, it's about like them dealing with that, and of course they all immediately fall in love with her, because that's what happens. I, I, I don't know. But funny, funny show, you should watch it. Or not, you know, if you, maybe you don't like anime. I like everything. Like, if it's animated, I would watch the baby channel. I like everything that you don't like, and I hate everything you think is good. I love Star Trek. Shit. <laughs> just, just... Give me the hand! <laughs> Lay off! I already did that! Give it! Alright, butthole, give me another hint. Giving you... you like... What the hell, dude? I already did that! I have not been paying a lick of attention to what's been going on on the screen. I know that you're looking for a lady's contact. I already, I already returned that shit. That's, that's over and oh. done with. Well, shit. I, I mean, we did this last episode. Oh, for God's sake. I remember that, that guy moves out of the way if you... Yeah. Cause him to... Ugh. Why do I have to keep doing this? Let's... Maybe they have more than one performance. Maybe you, you're you so into that band that you need to see them twice. I flatly detest that band. Maybe they vary it up. Maybe they play different songs for any uh, show. See, oh, you're not even going to the band. You're going to this lady. We did this already. What the fuck? What, did you forget to save? Impossible. Did... Was our save... Is it, like, corrupted somehow? Is there, like, a hitch in the game where... Where we... Now we can't get past this point? That don't make no sense. Hang on. That must be what happened, though. Well, give her the item. I, we don't have it. Wait, did you already give her the item? I guess we gotta go back to the desert. Because. I feel like I. We bought replacement weapons. This is not. Something weird is going on. Maybe I didn't save at the end of the last game. Or something. Get the hell out of my way. Something's gone horribly wrong here. Hmm. The plot thickens. Like plot hot sauce. Ugh. He's, he started pouring cornstarch into this plot and didn't stop. Uh, drop it. Let's go. Good. The plot has become Nickelodeon gack. It will make a fart noise if you squeeze it. What time is it, by the way? Uh, we have been doing this for 24 minutes. So far. Okay. Uh, I don't want to get rid of any of this stuff, but I know it's all... garbage. The cookie is garbage. You, I mean, do you ever even use that? It, it recovers so little health. Cookie. Just throw it on the ground. Give this. Wasteful. That's just wasteful. You're wasteful, fatty. Think of all the all the children in the United States of America that would be thankful to have that. Cookie. Children are fat. Hate them. We in J here in Japan are fortunate to have such things. <laughs> You're no Japan man. I killed fatty men. What is Lars' last name? Does he have a last name? Uh, I don't think so. No, I don't think we- I don't think one is ever mentioned. There's just- all these people are just our dad or our mom or whatever. Lars Shigami. Japanese citizen. Tunoku is his last name. Charlie Lars Tunoku. Uh... 
We're not progressing. That 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 attitude's not getting us anywhere, man. Uh, we need to we need to chalk it up. Let's go. Let's just let's start the quest over. Let's see if we can go back and get the item again. Yep. From its original location. I'm gonna get rid of some of this garbage real quick. Yep. Yeah. Just take it and go. Peace. Yeah. Run that way. D did you die, maybe, at the end of the last episode? No, I don't think so. It is like any other episode. Maybe I just didn't save. Maybe I just decided to hit F9, but not... What is with all these butterflies? Piss off. <laughs> no, I'm just being it's rude with butterflies. All the, you know, the butterflies are fluttering and... All the spiders have guns. And they're dealing drugs. Is it is it, it feels like spring right now. Unlike this time, I know, well... It's like three in the morning. Yeah, that's right. It, I don't want to hear it. I, I don't even... Do, it, it feels like spring. <laughs> <laughs> Regardless of the time of day, in a broader sense, it feels like spring right now. Hey, I thought a thousand bucks in a box. We've done that before. I, f I feel certain I must not have saved the game properly mm. last time. God damn it. At least this time we'll be able to beat the piss out of all those moles. Are you poisoned, or is that... is something happening to my screen? Uh, we're... we're... poisoned. It, it's Sunstroke. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna ignore it and hope it goes away. <laughs> Pretty sure that's how Sunstroke works. That's... that's... that's a cure. Yeah, you, you gotta man up. No, we have all our gear. Which I guess is cool. Sort of the same way you would handle, like... gangrene, or... You know, a, m a mild stroke. Yeah. Just walking off. Oh, for Christ's sake. The thing was running away from me a minute ago. But you for it, it realized that you forgot to save and, and thought, hmm, well, he's off his game today. Maybe I can get the upper hand. Yeah, sneaky little motherfucker. Little did he know. And I mean that. Yes. Something weird has happened. Oh! Hey, everybody. Uh... I do like this game's impression of what dinosaurs look like. <laughs> <laughs> Get him! Shoot that wolf. Son of a bitch. Black. Yeah, how about that, you rotten son of a bitch? Is that attack new? Yeah, we've never used it before. Oh. Same with that one. That was awesome. Do that again. That was, uh, par Paralysis Omega. I paralyzed that dinosaur and then beat it to death, which is horrifying. Did we ever... There was there was an attack we got last time that had a letter we couldn't make out. Did we ever figure out what that was? I don't think so. Shit. Who's that secret mon? Ah. Kill it! Yes! No, oh, so I don't want to do that stupid dungeon again. Uh, I don't want to do any of these dungeons again. I don't want to fight any more Skelpians! I don't want to fight anything. 
No, that's not true. I want to fight boss. Yeah, because they're hilarious. That's what gets the boss. They, all, they always have unique music. Yeah. So that's always good. Also, uh, just FYI, we are at the 30 minute mark now. So, not to rush you, but any more time we spend in this episode is borrowed time. Are you rushing me? Do I have to say it? You're rushing me, aren't you? Do I have to... Say it. Say it, just come out and say it. Say it to my face. Say it to my face via the internet. Do it. Take, take your time. No. No. I ain't trying to hear that. I'm sleeping in this house again. I really hope we just have to talk to this asshole again and get this diamond. I hope this game isn't just busted. Nope. He's down there. We're gonna have to fight all those. <laughs> Number three, again. Yep. Hey, buddy. Nobody okay. cares. Uh, here's remember that time we we like royally fucked up for in some other context and you just did it off screen. Yep. Just did it again. Let's let's do that. Sounds I, good. I don't think I don't think we should fight. I think we should end this episode here and fight these things off screen and we can come back next time with this over. Let's, I'm gonna beat down this one mole. I remember it being really easy for some reason. I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat this duck to death. And also, this thirsty snake just freaking me out a little bit. I mean, that's one thing I think we can we can pretty safely do to make this show a little better is to uh... not fuck up all the time. Well, I mean, c cut out some of the some of the, the nonsense. Yeah. That, like when we fuck up and have to do an entire section over. Yeah. We, maybe we don't need to show it. Hello, Molman. Let's do it. I forget what move it was. Yeah, something killed him in one one hit. It was. Uh, I think it might have been paralysis. I think you might be right. I think it was it's paralysis. Uh, see that or I don't freeze? Think it was... I think freeze. I rem yeah, I remember it now because the uh, it was the it was a blue animation. Just roughs him up. Yep, and that's that's why. If you if you hit him. With not that, he hits you back. Oh, it didn't work. I remember it took you a long time to beat this first one. Maybe the first one you encounter, you have to kill, you know, by brute force, and then that starts working. Yeah, something like that. Spy on him. Get lit up, bitch. Get smoked. Ding, yo. Stuff. Thank you, capsule. Uh, Goods. All my enthusiasm for this episode has just evaporated. I mean. The thing is, it got old the first time we did it. When there were five of those guys, and every time the joke was, I think I'm the third strongest. Yep. Like, okay. Neat. <laughs> yep. That text says number three again. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna beat the ever loving piss out of this snake, and that's gonna be it. Beat the snake. Beat it! I'm, Beat it with all your might! I'm not comfortable beating this snake anymore. I'm gonna shoot it. <laughs> I shot the snake. Ah. Uh, That's worse, somehow. 
you see that snake go off? Oh, that was it. She learned the, the fancy Psy Freeze. That's what we used to one-shot all the bosses. Now I want to slam my head in the oven door. Great, we're back at the beginning. I'm so raw from the last snake. 